right, here we are back to how to solve quadratic equations. In this case, we're going to use what we call the quadratic formula, which is derived from the quadratic equation. Now, here's a little secret. If you use the completion of the square method on the general form of the quadratic equation, which is uh, y equals, and this, of course in this case we write 0 for y because we're trying to find the roots, is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. If we use the completion of the square method and solve this general form of the equation, guess what you'll end up with? You'll end up with x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Which means that if you now recognize what your a, b, and c is in your quadratic equation and plug them into this formula, the quadratic formula, then you can find the roots or the solution to that quadratic equation. So, in this case, a is equal to 3, b is equal to 19, and c is equal to 20. And if we plug a, b, and c into this equation, or that formula, we'll get the solution. Let's try it. So x is equal to minus b, since b is a 19, that's minus 19, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that means 19 squared, minus 4 times a, a is 3, and c is 20, and the whole thing divided by 2 times a, and again a is 3. So there's a the solution. Of course, we don't want to leave it in this form, we want to simplify it, so let's go ahead and do that x is equal to minus 19 plus or minus the square root of 19 squared. 19 squared, that's 361, minus 4 times 3 times 20. 4 times 3 is 12 times 20, that's 240. And the whole thing divided by 6. Continuing to simplify this, this is minus 19 plus or minus the square root of 361 minus 240. Uh, that's 121 divided by 6, and here we're kind of lucky because 121 is a perfect square of uh, 11, so this can be written as x is equal to minus 19 plus or minus 11 over 6, and so that means that we either have the plus or the negative as our solution, so we can write this as x is equal to minus 19 plus 11 over 6, or x is equal to minus 19 minus 11 over 4. And if we simplify those two possibilities, minus 19 plus 11 is a minus 8. So x equals minus 8 over 6. That means x is equal to minus 4 over 3. Or if I take the negative possible, possible solution, minus 19 minus 11, that's minus 30 over 4. So x equals minus 15 over 2. So there are the two roots of my quadratic equation and solve pretty quickly using the quadratic formula. And in the end you'll find that the quadratic formula is probably your favorite or easiest method to use in all cases because in all cases you can quickly find the solution to your quadratic equation. All right just to make sure we understood how to do this let's do another example using the quadratic formula.